Hi everyone, I'm going to show you a quick video on string formatting. Handy dandy tip uh, came about in one of the newer versions of Python for working with strings when you want to print them out and trying to get them to look right. So we are working on string formatting right now. I'm in my PyCharm editor and as you recall strings are sequences of characters. Uh, wrapped in single quotes or double quotes, right? So strings are a great way of capturing data. Um, so for example, I'm going to create a variable and assign to it my name as a string, right? And I will also create a different variable, which is an age, and assigned it an integer value. So PyCharm is nice. It highlights the different variable types in different ways. But um, very simply, here's a nice string. All right. So now let's say we want to print out this string or this combination of information. Right. So um, I want to print to the screen, to the console, something like, hi, my name is, give me the value of name, and I am age years old. That's what I want to get out of it. Okay. So you may have learned a couple of different ways to get this printed to the screen using the values of these variables. So one option is to do something like this. We want to print and when you print you usually are printing a string. So we want to combine the string we want to print with this other information. So hi my name is and then you may have seen something like plus name right the plus operator when paired with these two things, this is a string, this is a string, plus means concatenate, bring them together. Hi, my name is plus name, and then continue with what I wanted to say, and I am, and now I want the age in there, I am age, 30, haha, years old, years old. So I'm going to run this, and you can run this a number of ways. You can go up here and click the Run button and pick your file. You can right-click and run string format. I am going to use the keyboard shortcut, Control-Shift-F10. And this did not work for me, right? Um, can only concatenate string to string, not an integer. So it's screaming at me here. Python's very unhappy. Um, because I did this poorly. It's mad because this thing, age, is an integer. And the rest of this stuff is a string, and it's telling me, it's trying to tell me here, I don't know how to concatenate an integer to a string. I just don't know. So one solution is to cast this age, this integer value, to a string, and now it will work. Okay, no big errors, but you can see it's kind of strangely formatted here. Um, and that's because I forgot my white space around here. Um, this is a very clunky way of dealing with this. I have to worry about my white space. I have to worry about maybe trying to put things in my string I want to print out that aren't strings. Uh, not great solution. There's another solution, a little bit better. We can do it this way. Print, hi, my name is... Okay. And now I'm going to put a comma here and the variable name. Okay. So what this will do, let's just run it. This printed out, hi, my name is, and then by doing the comma and the name, it gave me a little space and it put the value in here for me. So it's not, I am not explicitly concatenating a big string like in this one. Uh, the print statement's doing it for me. And that makes things a little simpler. So now I can keep adding uh, parameters to the, or arguments to this function. And what's really cool about this way is I can put age in here and I don't have to worry about um, converting it to a string. It worked just fine, right? I don't have this wrapped in a string. So this is better, uh, better solution. Um, I'm treating this like a method that takes many parameters and what the print method is doing is it's turning everything, every argument, into a string and then putting them together separated by spaces. So that's nice. That's pretty good.
But what's even better, and what I really want you to use, is what's called an F string, or a format string. F string. The way we make an F string is we are going to put F right here, and then we're going to build our string inside it. So let me start. Hi, my name is, and now here's the cool part. I'm going to put squiggly braces here squiggly braces and inside these braces I can put an expression in this case I'll just put the name variable hi my name is name value of name and I am squiggly braces age years old okay so let's run it here's the third one right and the cool thing about this is so because it's inside these squiggly braces, it got the value of the name variable out and converted it to a string. It got the value of the age variable out and converted it to a string. And the nice thing is, the string is right here. It's all together. It's all in one place. I don't have these little, I don't have these plus signs, these extra spaces, this, these commas and things that we have in this example. Looks nice right so this is what I want you to get in the habit of doing if you've got to print something and you need to print a value of something use one of these F strings okay that's all there is to it they're also pretty flexible you can do more with them and it doesn't just have to be when you're printing you can format strings anytime so let's see an example here so let me create an empty list just for the heck of it and in this empty list, I am going to append a value to the end of my list. I can append a string to the end of my list, right? And I can use an F string. So let's append, let's create a string where it's got a name and then the age, right? So when I run this, it's going to take the value of the name variable, which is Lucas, and the value of the age variable, create a string that looks like named age, so it'll look something like like that, and append it to the end of the list. Okay, let's uh, let's print the length of this list, and then let's print the first item in the list, which is at index zero. Okay, okay. so here's the string I inserted into my list, and the way I formatted it was using this thing. Um, another really cool thing here, uh, let me do this down here. Let's add another string to our list. Let's append another value. You can make these expressions inside these squiggly braces complicated. You can have them do calculations. So let's say I want to add on something to this. So print name plus, I'm going to do some string concatenation here. Uh, layman. Now it's mad at me because, why is it mad? It's mad because I've got double quotes out here and double quotes in here. That's a no-no. It's double quotes. It, it thinks that this double quote goes with this guy and that's not right. Um, let me put single quotes. That'll fix the problem. Okay. Name plus layman. So inside these squigglies, it's going to take name and then concatenate to that string, layman. And then for age, we can do a calculation. Age is an integer, it's 30. Let's be more realistic and add 10 to that. Okay. So this will append this new string that we've created. And let's print it too. People sub 1. Okay. There are two things in here now. All right. So here. I've got, I created this string, appended it to the end, and you can see I did some extra evaluation in here. All right, all this is doing, all this F string is doing, is giving me back a string that substitutes variables, whole expressions, figures out what they are, and then turns them into a string. Very handy, even if you're just using it simply, uh, get in the habit of using F strings.